Fora TV. The world is thinking. Uh, there's always a lot of uh, competition for what's on the top of my pile of worries, but um, I suppose a typical one, a lot of them are worries uh, in general about the web and about the internet, about any one large party getting to control it. Because if you can control the internet, if you can control the web, if you can control what somebody sees, prevent them, make it much easier to get them to the, to the website of one political party rather than another one, make it difficult for them to look at sites which are the wrong side of the, from your point of view, as an ISP of the, the abortion debate. No, uh, then, then that's, very, that's a very, very powerful tool. Also, if you can spy on everything I do, if you can spy on the clicks I make as I browse through the web and what comes back, you know a lot more about me than if you had a camera set up permanently in my living room. It's very boring in my living room. But, what, but when you see what I'm anxious about, what I'm querying for on the web, you know, you know the types of cancer that the people I know are suffering from. You might incorrectly conclude that I'm suffering for that cancer, and so you might be very tempted to put up my insurance premiums. So that I don't want a world where when a lot of people use the web as a very, very critical thing, when they're, when they're, in a very, when, when they're weak, when they, when they really in need of help, or they're, you know, when they're gay and they're wondering whether to come out, when they're wondering whether they've got cancer, when they discover somebody they know has got cancer, and they're wondering what to do about it, and they're reaching out to look for some information about it, you don't want them, you want them to know that nobody's going to be following that click. That click is just between them and the internet, and then people will be able to use it to its full power. Otherwise, people will all, uh, it will become frightened and it will be t uh, they will be manacled. And besides the World Wide Web Consortium keeping standards open, the, the responsibility for seeing that that happens rests mainly with whom? Well, it rests with everybody, keeping an eye out. We all have to watch out when our rights are, are threatened. But uh, certainly, well, the Web Consortium tries to make really nice technical standards that work together. Uh, it also encourages people to use the standards. Uh, now we've launched a World, uh, World Wide Web Foundation. That's something new. That's different. It's much broader. Uh, and the Web Foundation, Foundation is really looking at, more broadly at whether the web serves humanity, trying to make sure that the web will serve humanity. And when you think about that, you realize that actually 80% of if humanity doesn't use the web at all. So they start off looking at that 80% and wondering how the web could serve them more easily or serve them better, wondering... Uh, do we understand the web as it is? Do we understand what will happen when the other 80% comes online? So there's some huge questions about the web. It's a very big system. The World Wide Web Foundation is setting out to be responsible, to help the humanity be responsible about the web.